be a differentiating point. Country should not be. That is Iman. What is the second quality mentioned in this beautiful hadith of Anas ibn Malik? Wherein the Prophet وسلم, makes mention of the second quality. He says, An rajula, la illa lillah. The one who loves his fellow brethren or his brother, meaning a person who is in faith with you, your fellow Muslim, to love him or her solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We've heard this a lot. I'm sure people say, brother, I love you for the pleasure of Allah. What is the meaning of it? How do I know that I love someone solely and only for the pleasure of Allah? There is something important to define this. When you see a person who is anonymous to you, you don't even know them. You don't even have a clue who they, they are or what their name is. Subhanallah. And the mere fact that they are trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws your heart closer towards them and does not take it further away from them. That is one of the signs that you love someone for the sake of Allah. So when you see a sister donning the hijab, for example, and when you see her walking in a way that is very modest and you realize that she is doing this for the pleasure of Allah in an environment that might not be easy for her to do that. Because today, in most countries of the world, it is easier to remove the hijab than to wear it. It is easier to miss your salah than to fulfill it. Because the environment around us sometimes not only does not encourage us to be good Muslims, but it discourages us from being good Muslims and it encourages us from abandoning our teachings. So when you see a person who is trying to accept or who is trying to follow the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if within your heart you can say a small dua, Ya Allah, help the sister. You don't need to know who she is. You don't need to know her name or her phone number. You need to know nothing about her. All you need to know, that is my sister in faith. I may never know who she is, but Ya Allah, open her doors. Ya Allah, make it easy for her. Ya Allah, grant her. Subhanallah. Take a look at some of the European countries where hijab was banned. Here comes a businessman and he says, every fine that any one of you who is going to be fined because of wearing the hijab, I will pay it. Subhanallah. What love is this? I may never know who these sisters are, but here is the wealth. 150 euros. If you are going to be fined, don't worry. I will pay. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us such acceptance. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. When you don't know who it is, you don't know who they are, you will never know who they are. But you are ready solely because they are trying to please Allah. Maybe we might be weaker than them, but something in our heart says that is my sister. And we have a feeling for them. This will contribute towards you tasting the sweetness of Iman. This is what will contribute towards you believing that I am part of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, today our hearts are full of hatred and this is why the Iman is weak within us. We hate people for the smallest difference that we have with them. Not realizing my brothers and sisters, every one of us, myself included, we have so much to improve and we have so much to learn and we have so much in order to draw closeness to Allah to do. So why don't we learn to love one another? Brother, I see you and I find out your name is Abdullah or Muhammad or someone of that nature. And immediately something, a feeling comes into my heart. This is my brother in faith. If that is the case, you have an acceptance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is it that we look at people and we start categorizing them materially? This man does not have wealth. This man does not drive that vehicle. This man is not living in that suburb where all the villas are. This man's salary is lower. This man works. He's a lower worker than I am. So I cannot love him. And I cannot, for example, do anything for him. I cannot have this feeling for him. That is what is destroying the ummah. That is why we do not taste the sweetness of Iman. Even if he is working for you, you love him for the sake of Allah, meaning you will ensure that your actions do not make him disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In some countries, some Muslims do not allow other Muslims a time off to read their Friday prayers as well. What type of love is this? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all and may he grant us guidance and acceptance.
And when we say the word love here, it is not something illicit or dirty. No. It is the pure feeling that emanates and comes from the heart of genuineness to say, I would really like for them what I like for myself. When your son comes to you, your wife comes to you, and she wants something or he wants something, and you love them so dearly, you may give them something that you wanted as well, but solely because you love them so much, you say, don't worry, you are my son, take it, I will get something else, and I don't really need it, and so on. This is a sign of love. The hadith teaches us that this should be the case with every single person who is a believer, not just your family members alone, subhanallah, not just your family members alone, but everyone. Sometimes it is difficult for us to give away the things that we need and we love, for example, but we need to realize the minimum is the feeling in your heart to say that is my brother in faith, that is my sister in faith. Do you feel a connection with those seated next to you now in this house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If the answer is no, you have a lot to improve on. And if the answer is yes, whether they are expatriate from another country altogether or whether they are citizens of this beautiful country should not be a differentiating point. That is Iman, that is Islam, and that is what will make us taste the true sweetness of this faith of ours.